Carol Merle, and today we are hopping on a TikTok trend that has swept the nation. Okay, I don't know if it swept the nation, <laughs> but it's pretty popular and I've had a bazillion people send it to me to try. So thank you for sending it to me. Now we're gonna try it. What we're making today is chicken out of flour. What we're really making is seitan. So the original TikTok was posted by Future Lettuce. They made it look really delicious. They made it look really easy. The only hiccup is that there are no measurements, which is kinda tricky for me because I've never made seitan this way. Seitan goes back centuries. I mean, Buddhist monks have been eating seitan for hundreds and hundreds of years as a vegetarian substitute for actual meat. With all that said, what do you say, ton, we get started? <laughs> that is unforgivable, I am so sorry. So I've got 400 grams of flour here and I've got one cup of water. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in my flour. Now I'm just gonna add in my water. Full disclosure, I do not like working with dough. I do not really like make bread or anything in my free time. It's sticky and it's a mess. So I'm not looking forward to this, in case you were wondering. I'm just gonna mix this together until it starts to form our dough. I've got it to kind of come together now. I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna knead it with my hands. We're gonna knead it until it is smooth like a balloon. So I've read online that I'm supposed to do this for like five to 10 minutes. And I think I'm gonna turn it right out onto the surface. Oh, and disclaimer, I washed my hands. I know people freak out when you don't use gloves or you type away in the comments about my hands and what a monster I am. I know how the internet works. I know all about it. Oh, okay. You know what? It is coming together. It's getting smoother because the gluten is forming. All right, this is looking nice and smooth and we did the little poking test. If you poke your finger into your dough and it bounces back, that means that your gluten is formed and you should be good to move on to the next step. If you put your finger in there and it just stays in there like a dent, you need to keep kneading, baby. Knead away. Channel. Someone strong. Ours is all set and ready to go. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our little dough baby in a bowl and let it rest for an hour. So the next step is for us to wash the dough with water. This washing process, what it's really doing is it's allowing us to separate the gluten and the protein from the starch. Starch is water soluble, so it's gonna release out into the water. So we're left with just a mass of gluten. It feels nice. I can already feel it loosening the more that I'm kneading it and massaging it. Don't panic if your dough baby gluten protein monster starts to break down or come apart because that's totally normal. And when we are finished with this, it's all gonna form back together. Just trust me. And don't you worry your sweet little heart. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna strain it and I'm gonna keep the water, the starchy water, because we can use the starchy water for other recipes. For instance, cold skin noodles. And now we're gonna repeat this process like three to four times until the water is clear, but not transparent. After all of that, we've got our gluten ball. This is looking really good, I've gotta say. I'm going to go ahead and season it. I'm adding a little bit of salt, some pepper, some paprika, garlic powder, and onion powder. Then I'm just gonna sort of fold it in on itself and get it to combine. I'm really using my hands to combine this. I was at first kind of kneading it, but I think in order to get it to mix all the way in there, you really gotta get in with your fingers and let it combine throughout. This is a very tactile recipe. It's an adventure, but it's an adventure I'm enjoying. Okay, and when it's finished, it's looking a little bit like this. Now we're gonna let our dough rest again for one more hour. Okay, we've done plenty of waiting. Now it's time to do the next step in our recipe, which is to twist this and tie this into a knot. Then we twist, 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 and then I'm gonna knot it into some crazy shapes. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and fry it on my pan on the stove. I'm gonna get it nice and evenly fried on both sides. And then after it's fried, we're gonna add in some vegetable broth. I'm gonna put in a little bit of soy sauce. They didn't do this in the TikTok, but I'm gonna do it because I feel like it'll taste good. And we're gonna let this simmer on low for 45 minutes. We've got the chicken. We've got the chicken. The chicken is ready to eat. It smells chickeny in here. It looks a little chickeny on my plate, but who's to say that it's gonna taste chickeny? Woohoo! cool! Okay, the shredding is a, is a big win. I'm, I'm very proud of this because it felt daunting, but it looks like it's come out just the way it did in the TikTok. And it's cool because it even looks like it has like a skin to it, like, which was always my favorite part. 
Look at it, look, it looks like a chicken skin, kind of. The peeling is really impressive. I'm very impressed with how it's shredded, but I can't stop thinking about how much I want to try it. It doesn't really taste like chicken. It tastes similar to chicken, but it doesn't taste just like chicken. It's got a different texture, but that said, you could add whatever flavoring you want to this. Like if I wanted to add some like buffalo sauce and put this in a wrap, oh my God. I love the chew it has to it. I never knew it was like this easy-ish to make on your own. Flavor, again, not exactly like chicken, but really juicy and a great meaty texture to it. So if you're curious and you've got some flour and water, I highly recommend you try this. Oh gosh, I'm about to eat this whole thing. I'm about to just take this gluten bomb to the stomach. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you'd like me to make next. Make next? Thank you so much for watching and let me know what you would like me to make next in the comments below. <laughs> Does it look like an escalator? <laughs>